Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class, chemistry and of course today we are going to continue our discussion on the topic uh, types of, what, of reactions and in the previous episode I listed all the types of reactions that we have and today I'm going to look at the first one on this what episode which is the simple or direct combination reaction right all right now please know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the o3 school jump app right i've voiced it a lot in many of the episodes i will keep on voicing it all right it is the only app you need for your short success in exam in your jump exam all right it's your learning because we have what a classroom feature that teaches you why you are trying to decipher what answer to questions all right we also have what a wonderful feature called the utm challenge that will conduct for all students every saturday till one week to the jam exam all right in those challenges you are competing with other jam bites real competition right and then you are competing to win prizes winning prizes is not the only reason why we do that because after every challenge you are going to see your score per your subjects all right one what does that do you are going to be, you are going to be able to know your weak areas and able to you are going to be able to improve on them all right before what the main jam exam two you are getting used to how jam sets its question three you are working on your speed so many reasons why what you should what, join with that challenge right now all right so there are so many other features like the question search feature where, where you can search for questions by topic like after answering what questions uh, after we're studying let's say a particular, top, a particular topic in chemistry you can go to the app go to the question search feature click on chemistry type that topic and what all the questions on that topic under that topic that jam has said before will just appear in your phrase only that topic i'm going to see the questions from that that is the question search feature all right so please many other factors and reason why you should work, get this app activation is just three thousand at the time of shooting this video it may increase all right so please note that what uh, uh uh to activate the app is just simple all you need to do is to send a message on whatsapp 091215152466 also know that what the app is available for both what pc it's a pc version there's an android version all right there's a computer version and there's a what there's an android version so any of the version anything anyone you need you can always well, download all right so please download if you need anything any question about activation or if you need the pc download link just send a message on this number on whatsapp 091215152546 all right now let's go back to why we are here today which is a simple combination reaction a simple combination reaction is usually referred to as what one plus one equals two type of what reaction all right one plus one equals two reaction that is the best way to describe a simple or direct combination reaction because it involves the direct combination of two substances it involves the direct combination of what, two substances to give what to form a third what uh, a third substance all right so it involves the direct combination of what of two substances to form what a third word substance all right so that is what a simple or direct combination reaction is i described as a one plus one equals two reaction all right and it involves the direct combination of what two substances to give a third substance all right now let's see an example so these substances may be let's say an element it may be an element plus another what element to give a compound all right so it could be what an element plus another element to give what a compound let's see an example like for example hydrogen gas all right reacting plus what chlorine what gas cl2 you know halogens are diatomic all right and of course i'm going to have what uh two hcl this is a balanced reaction right because we have what two atoms of hydrogen here we have two atoms of hydrogen here two atoms of chlorine here we have what two atoms of chlorine here so this reaction is balanced this is a what simple or direct combination reaction where an element combines with another element like like i said it involves what the what the direct combination of two substances element plus element to give what a third substance which is what a compound all right now also it could also be between what a larger compound 
plus an element to give you what a compound all right a simple or direct combination reaction could also be between what a larger compound plus an element to give you what a compound let's see an example for example uh co plus what o2 all right this is what a gas monoatomic uh, mon monatomic what uh, gas carbon monoxide and then of course this is what another what gas oxygen so to now form what this is what a larger compound carbon monoxide reacting with what oxygen to give you what now to give you c O2. You need to check if the reaction is balanced because you do not write unbalanced equations in chemistry. It's a taboo. It's an insult. Please, if you have not liked the video, what you are doing is very wrong. Please just click on that like button immediately now as we are doing this video now. As you are watching the video, just click on that like button immediately. Right? Liking the button will what we make what students easily find this video also subscribe subscription is free for this channel so please don't click on that red subscribe button so that whenever we publish a new video you will get notification on your phone that we have published a new video in that way you'll be able to want to follow us uh, closely all right now so let's check if the reaction is what is balanced we have what one co here right we have uh, one here we have what uh, o2 here so we have two o2 here but here we have we have three right as you can see so if add two here we are going to have this c is not balanced right but o2 is not balanced in fact c is not balanced here so you have to have two here also you are going to have what two co o2 then two what co2 of course this is what carbon four oxide is a gas all right now this could be what this is another type of what a combination reaction between a larger compound plus an element to give you what a compound it could also be between what a compound plus another compound to give us what another word compound all right it could also be what between what a compound plus another compound to give you what another word compound right so let's see an example for example h2so4 plus so3 to give you h2s2o7 h2s2o7 is called oleum it's called oleum please take note of that all right please take note of what of that right so when you are doing i think in past question this is an exam question right which are the formula which are the following uh, uh compounds right chemical formula is called what oleum all right which is h2s2o7 all right so this is a compound with another compound giving you what a compound right which is h2so4 plus so3 to give you h2s2o7 and you need to check if the reaction is what is balanced first of all to start with h2 is balanced here h2 is balanced here s is two here s is two here one two is balanced then of course this is o4 four oxygen plus three oxygen is seven and it is also o7 so it's very very well balanced and what have you noticed during what all these examples you see that there's only what one product all right there's only what one product it's always what one product so that means that when it comes to simple or direct combination reaction we only have what we only have what one product there's only one product for what for simple or direct what combination reaction please take note of that also that is where we're going to end for this class in the next class i'm going to be looking at displacement reaction and i'd love to see you there thanks for watching